Glenn Allen today. Uh, I'm here for a couple reasons. One, I haven't been here in a while and I want to see the guys. I miss them. Two, uh, we got our first G Technique Crystal Serum Ultra install on this Silverado over here. And I'm going to help them, show them, guide them on the coating and show them how it works and exactly how to use it. Exciting stuff. They got a lot of cool cars in here. Let's take a look at what they got going on. Not exactly sure what they're doing in any of these. We'll have to get to adjust and see exactly what we're doing. Looks like we may have done a front end clear bra. Nope, that ain't us. There's no wrapped edges. Let's wait for Justin to get here. Damn, it's bright. Let's wait for Justin to get here. He can fill us in on what's going on here. Justin's here! <laughs> Good morning. You wanna walk out there and uh, fill yeah. in on everything that's going on? All right, first Corvette, what are we doing? Uh, full correction on the uh, Corvette. Chevy Silverado. This is our first G-Technique Crystal Serum Ultra coating, isn't it? Yes, here we go now. How was the paint on this? Was it pretty good or? It wasn't, it wasn't bad, it was actually uh, pretty good. The guy babies this truck. He's uh, retiring soon, it's gonna be his daily driver. He wants to get it protected and uh, have a nice truck to drive around. Sweet, excited to do that one. GTR. I always like seeing these in the shop. This thing was absolutely hammered. Yeah. Still is hammered. Uh, they polished on it yesterday. Uh, we're going to replace the partial front clip on it and then do another uh, G Technique Crystal Serum Ultra on that one. Nice, killing it. And then the Corvette is another full correction detail. Full correction exterior? Yes. Excellent. And then the Audi is going to be, we just tinted the windows yesterday, pinnacle on the sides and the rear, Stratus 70% on the windshield, and then single step and BCO8 full exterior. Beautiful. So we haven't done any paint correction on this one yet? No, this one just got prepped yesterday. Stratus 70 on the front windshield. Highly recommend getting your front windshield tinted. That's where most of the infrared heat and all, all comes through. This is a clear film. You can see it has a little tiny bit of a blue haze, but that's a 70%. We also carry 80%. Very clear, you can't even tell it's on the windshield, but it makes a huge difference. What do you say? Get the day started? I like that idea. <laughs> Don't let go. Chasing a beam. Good morning, Gustavo. How are you? Good. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. Still a little messed up. <laughs> I missed you. I feel like we never see each other anymore. All right, me and Jason are gonna head out for a little bit. We gotta get some B-roll shots for another video that we got coming out at a later period. Um, what do we need? We need um, we need car wash. We need an automatic car wash. We need an in-bake car wash. We need. Um, we need to find, we need shots of people washing cars the wrong way and we're not gonna find it here at Chicago Auto Pros. He's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just gonna go stake we're out, like a, like a stake out. Yeah. Rolling down the windows with our like sunglasses and hats on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go drive around and find some uh, other car washes. <laughs> Do not enter. They don't mean that, right? Uh, we're gonna run my car through the three dollar car wash for scientific research purposes only. Um, I don't recommend this doing this at home. We're just trying to get B roll. So here we go. Chip right. Three dollar car wash. Do not enter. Where did the f do you enter this car wash? 
Oh, do we get into the car wash? I'd like a car wash, please. Light wash for light cleaning only. Express wash, jet blast, rim cleaner. I get the lava bath at $10. I'm just gonna do a $3 one. You are now ready to enter the car wash. Please proceed by following the directions on the signs ahead. And thank you again for your car wash purchase. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm so nervous. <laughs> My car. Put off brake, put it in neutral. And here we go. Pretty good shot. Let's open her up. Dirty now, <laughs> like I cheated or something. <laughs> like I cheated. because there's no friction. I mean, it's just gonna pressure wash. It sprayed a, uh, a chemical, an alkaline chemical probably, to loosen up the dirt and soil. And then it pressure washed it real nice to get all the uh, dirt and any debris off the car. Now we're doing a spot free rinse. And after that, there's probably some blowers that blow it off. So this is a great wash for in between your friction hand car washes. Lunchtime. paint correction on it. This one's getting full modesta. So we're doing all the painted surfaces, door jams, windows, trim, wheels, wheel wells, barrels, whole nine yards. That one's going well. Red always looks good when you polish it and you bring it outside. It just pops. Silverado is getting the Crystal Serum Ultra put on it right now. Did a little training session with the guys. Pretty easy coating to put on and take off. You just gotta make sure that you don't leave any high spots. That's the, um, you kinda gotta move up and down and over and all over the place to make sure that you've gotten all the coating off. That's the biggest thing, that's the hardest thing about this coating. Oh yeah, this is the Audi from this morning that they window tinted, so we're doing paint correction. He's getting the paint correction done on that. And BC08, I believe, is going on this one. We tape off all the potential areas that we could damage the car with the buffer. All these plastic areas, all the door edge trim. There's plastic on here where it meets the windshield on the side mirror there. Any plastic areas, if you get any compound or polish on those, they turn white and they look atrocious. So we tape everything off. 
he's gonna be taking this license plate off. I don't know if this back one comes off um, so we can get around everything. Window tint area, working on a, is it a Toyota? Infinity. And beyond. Window tint. Looks like they put the GTRs aside for a little bit so they can work on some of these other vehicles. I think that one's gonna be here for a week or so, so we'll get back to that one. Deegan checking things out. Back to work. We have a very big problem here. Now that's more like it. Everything runs smooth here. There's no reason for me here to be. There's no reason for me even to be here most of the time. Hi, Jason. <laughs> um, so, end of the day, they're killing it. We got the Tesla that uh, Martin's working on. We're gonna do a final paint correction on that, and the VCO4. Uh, putting the Crystal Serum Ultra, finishing that one. Doing. Uh, they gotta do all the trim and all the glass transparency on the front windshield. So, uh, we're gonna be back at Glenview tomorrow. And, and anything else? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to Glen Ellen. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. I miss Glen Ellen. This is the first original shop that we started at, and I feel like it's home here. Like, when I come back, it just feels nice being here. Um, I've always loved this place. We're actually looking for a new place here. We're actually looking to move it uh, just south of where we're at now. We're looking to get a bigger, a bigger area. We want a special uh, tent room film room that we can have. Right now we have a curtain and it works fine for what we have here, but we'd like a separate area where we can have a garage door lifts it up and everything, so that'd be nice, but. Yes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like it, do the thumbs up thing. You know, all that good stuff. Comment. Comment. Comment your favorite car. Sure, comment your favorite car. We'll see you later.